Hello, lovely viewers, and welcome back to our romantic corner of YouTube, where we dive deep into the world of TV, movies, and series, and everything that makes our hearts skip a bit. Today, we have an incredible special treat for you. I'm thrilled to announce that we have the talented Megan Best, the lead actress of the Lifetime TV movie, Confessions of a Calm Girl with us for an exclusive interview. Hi, Megan, it's such a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And let's begin. Confessions of a Cam Girl is such a unique and compelling story. What do you to this project and how did you prepare for the role of a Christian? How did I prepare? Oh, wow. So um, I'd say what drew me to the project was how intimidating it was to me. Um, I'd never done anything like it before. And uh, I I think I, I was ready for, for a challenge and for something to really um, push me outside of my comfort zone. And uh, it definitely uh, it definitely did that for me. Um, so I, I took it on and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that I did. I think that I, I learned a lot and I, and, I, and I grew so much from it. Um, and then uh, how I prepared was I, oh man, um, I, I, again, like I didn't really know where to start with it. I think there was just like so, so much material to, to work from, which is a blessing. Um, um in itself but i i think i was just like uh kind of i, I looked at the whole story i think i think as a whole and then i i had to kind of break it down um into kind of subsections so kristen has a lot of um transitions that she goes through throughout throughout the story um she has quite a character arc which is like a beautiful gift as an actor to, to, to have like such a journey um, and I'd never really gone through such a transformation before and so I think I, I I kind of just looked at like where she was starting from which it was a place that I think I I could relate a lot more to and, and was a little bit easier for me to to kind of find and then as I as the story um, goes on I I, I did a I did a lot of research on um, you know, people that work in in um, uh, explicit like content and, and sex work, and um, I, I watched like documentaries, and I did research, and uh, um, I, I watched other performances that inspired me, um, and then just I kind of just did my own evaluation of what I thought the, the story would look like and what Kristen would look like. Yeah, great. Yeah. And uh, Kristen undergoes uh, a significant uh, transformation in the movie. How mm -hmm. did you approach uh, the character's development, especially considering uh, the complex emotions she experiences uh, throughout uh, the storyline? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I touched on that um, a little bit, but yeah, yeah it, was, um, it, it was quite an emotional journey that she mm -hmm. goes through. Um, which is also something that really intimidated me. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a big load to carry. I think, um, at least for me, like especially emotional work, I, I find you know quite um, quite quite challenging. And uh, again, I think it was just really like looking, um, looking kind of like I, I think it really helped to see you know, how innocent she is at the very, at the very top and just kind of keep going back to that. Like every time I felt like she was like teetering off into somebody different, I think seeing the juxtaposition of like who she's becoming and like what she once was, at least for the, 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 the emotional like gravitas of it, I think kind of fueled, um, fueled my, um, my, my, uh like the 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 pain and the, the trauma that she feels because 
I would th- I would personally like reflect on like who I am now as as I as I've grown up and I would kind of reminisce on who I was when I was young and and sometimes I miss that side of myself and I would just I would I would think about like you know how terrifying growing up is and, and all of these these adult experiences that that we have and it's exciting and it's exhilarating but at the same time sometimes I I miss that that innocence and I and I miss that that naivety and um and I think that like in terms of like the trans the transformation and 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 the the emotional aspect of the role I I I think I just reflected a lot on on that and, and and I think that really helped helped me at least um with her with her growth yeah I see I understand yeah and uh, the film explores uh, family dyna- dynamics, particularly Kristen's relationship uh, with her working class parents. How did you work uh, on building the chemistry with the actors who played your own screen family? Oh, it, it was not hard at all. Um, Camille and Matt are so, so easy to work with. Um, I think immediately when I met them, we had instant chemistry. Um, they're such professionals, and um, and you know I think they kind of like took me under their wing a little bit, um, being like a younger actor, and they have you know so much experience and so much knowledge and wisdom, and uh, I think that it just kind of naturally fell into place, which is you don't always get. I think it's such a gamble, but. Um, I think that uh, it was just such a lucky, a lucky gift we got. Um, yeah, just, it was just, I think the stars fell into alignment. And then also just the casting was really, really great. And I think uh, Siobhan was familiar with, I believe Siobhan, our director, was familiar with Matt and Camille. And um, so I, she probably, I, I think she was just like, no, nah, they, they got it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's great. And uh, the movie explores the, the theme of pursuing one's uh, dreams against all odds. Mm-hmm. What uh, message do you hope viewers uh, take away from Kristen's story? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, I, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this because it's kind of funny. Like, I have always been a huge believer in, like, you should, if you want something, you should you should do everything that you can to get it, you know, within reason, of course, as long as you're being safe about it and kind. Um, Cause you know, I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing. I think that Kristen's doing in the sense of, um, you know, I'm pursuing my dreams and I, um, I'm so lucky that it's worked out as it has. Um, and I've gotten the opportunities I've gotten. Um, it's been a lot of like right place, right time, but, um, in terms of Kristen, it's hard because like she's pursuing her dreams when people are telling specifically her parents when her parents are kind of um, telling her to hold back and 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 follow a different path. Um, and I would say like, hmm, the, I, I would say that uh, I would say like pursue your dreams like regardless like and and she does at the end of the movie like. She still pursues her dreams of fashion. She just has to go about it in a different way. And so um, I would say like, pursue your dreams, maybe, you know, be safe about it and be smart about it. Cause I think, I think sometimes we can get a little clouded in our vision, um, but I'd say like, like, still go for it and find people and find ways that will, that will support you in that. Absolutely. Now, without giving away any spoilers, can you share a memorable moment from the filming of a confession of a young girl? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, or a favorite moment for you while, while filming? Oh, boy. Like, there were so many because every day was so much fun. Um, you know, I, I a favorite moment we filmed this one scene which is um i don't think this is a spoiler when kristen goes to her parents to tell her that she 
she wants to go to fashion school. Um, that's a huge, at least for me, that was a huge scene to film. Um, and uh, it was, uh, it was a, it was a big scene. It's, it's quite long and uh, it was my audition scene and I was quite, quite nervous about it. Cause I think it's such, it's, it's a catalyst for the whole movie. Yeah. Um, and it's also hard because the stakes are so high and it's her dreams and she's got this desperation to her. And I, I had a really hard time just trying to find, um, find the levels of like her journey, like her emotional journey, because you didn't want to play too much too soon before the whole movie happens. Um, and that was such an amazing scene to film because it felt like working with um, Camille and Matt, like it felt like one of those kind of light bulb moments for me where I was really, really struggling with it. And, and, and Camille and Matt were just like so relaxed and, and I just like, I couldn't understand how you could be doing a movie that was so like intense and like being do in a scene that's so intense and you could just be like having a, having like a, a great time and laughing. I mean, we always have a great time, but just like relaxed and just enjoying the moment. And they gave me the best advice, which just was like, relax, you've done the work and just live in the moment. And I, I'd heard that so many times before, but I never really fully, like it never really fully like sunk through me. And then that moment it did. And just like doing that scene, it just felt like something it was ignited in my brain. I was like, oh, this is what acting is. Oh, this makes so much sense. And it was such a fun scene. I felt like, I just felt so free. Um, and yeah, working with them was just like such a, such a dream. And, and I think every time I'm on set and I have those, like, I have them a lot too, where like at least more and more as I, as I do more acting, but where you're like, oh wait, now I get it. Oh, okay. This is, I thought I understood what I was doing before. I thought I knew how to do my job, but no, I didn't. Now I do. Um, and, and I hope to keep having those moments, but that was really cool. I would say. Yeah. Cool. And uh, Confessions of a Cam Girl touches uh, on themes uh, of uh, determination and family. What a message or takeaway uh, do you hope the audience receive after watching the movie, especially consider the real uh, world issues which addresses? Oh, wow. Well, um, I would say... I would say pursue your dreams and like always, you know, stay tr true to who you are and what you want. But in, in doing that, I think it's so important to have, whether it's biological family or like a, a family that you create with your, um, create yourself through friends, it doesn't matter. Build a circle around yourself of people that really know you and not only really know you, but really truly have your best interests at heart. People that really care about you, um, people that have your back. And if they, you know, are, are constantly kind of checking in on you and, and telling you that something's up and that they're concerned for you, um, maybe listen to them, I would say. Because I think we all have gone through periods in our life where we get cloudy vision, we meet the wrong crowd or we we're so focused on a goal that like everything else kind of falls into the background and we really lose perspective. Um, and I think it's just so important to have a circle of people around you that are going to hold you accountable. Um, and that there are people out there that, that will protect you. And that if they're, you know, if, if they're saying things you don't want to hear, maybe sometimes, sometimes, you know, you should, block that out and pursue your dreams. But I think sometimes when you really trust those people, and I think the key is finding people you really trust is maybe listen to them and say, okay, how can I go about doing this in a, in a, in a way that's not gonna be harmful to myself or anyone else? Yeah, absolutely. And now before we wrap up, uh, would you like to, to, to share with us uh, about your next projects? Oh, uh, sure. Um, I actually have, uh, I, I did a guest star 
um, on a TV show called The Irrationals. Um, and that's coming out tonight, actually, on NBC. Great. Yeah, which is, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really fun. And I did it right after Cam Girl. Um, and that was a, a, an incredible experience. Um, and then other than that, um, I did like a, like a, a really, really tiny little part in this movie called Unspoken that I filmed, I think like two or three years ago. And I, I just saw a poster release for that. So I think that might be coming out soon. Um, and uh, I, I did a movie called Time Cut a few years, a few years back that it should be coming out. I don't know when, um, <laughs> but maybe keep a lookout for that. <laughs> Great. And would you like to share something about your character uh, in the in tonight's episode of The Irrational? Oh boy. Uh, hmm. I, I, don't, I don't want to give spoilers away. I'll say that um, her name is Izzy. Okay. Uh, and Izzy goes through a lot in this episode. Okay. Great. Very, very challenging, a very rewarding experience to have. We will go top. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much for being with us uh, today. And uh, thank you all for watching. Bye. Okay.